Hello, I'm back. Uh, we'll, uh... Where was I? Right. So... Four turns till that. So we're just gonna kind of wait on a hand... Not a handful of things, but... We're gonna get these last two... Um, siege engines. And put them in the army. And then move, continue the army down the road. Uh, and as I think of it... I think I will temporarily place a general in this army so that they... Oh, here we go. Okay. Instrument of justice. Oh, they wanted me to recruit a Mitsuki. Uh, okay, so... We have the fire projecting magnals. So... We've now got three. And let's see what we've got here. Okay, so we're gonna... Back up. Okay, path blocked again. See, it's because... Uh, see this red bit that means I can't move into it because there's an army here to stop me so I'm gonna back up and keep these two armies pretty close together while we do our thing so let's see so we got those two and then we'll also want to start replacing uh, these guys so we'll first replace the Yari Ashi no we're not gonna replace the Yari Ashigari because I, I like their Yari wall formation so until we find another Yari-equipped unit with a Yari wall formation, we are not going to replace them. However, we will replace the Naginata uh, Ashigaru with Naginata uh, Samurai. Or perhaps Naginata Light Samurai. Because they are a little bit cheaper. Because kind of part of the goal here... Oh yeah, they are. They're cheaper. Let's see. 18, 13, 7, 11, 12, 14, 9... So melee defense, 12. Melee defense, 14. So the Ashigaru have a little bit higher melee defense. Uh, less charge bonus. Ooh, about the same bonus per cav. And one less armor. So really, it's the more morale and more melee attack is what we're going for if we replace them with light samurai. Or with the Naginata light samurai. Uh, which is like a step up from the Ashigaru, but not quite a Naginata Samurai. Which is kind of the point here, is that I'm trying to keep these with predominantly uh, cheap units. Uh, so let's see. So yeah, we'll go with um, 1, 2, 3, 4, because I think that's how many are here anyway. 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah. And then, let's see, what else? So, recruiting, recruiting, recruiting. Construction. Recruits. Oh, right, we can get another ninja. Let's see, here's... See, that's why, that's why I call them, like, that's why I generally think of them as being cops. I'm not sure if that's if that's necessarily accurate, but I've been thinking of them as cops. More or less. They're like anti-spies. They're the anti-ninja. And uh, I can send them around to imprison people. Because that's actually what they do to the enemy agents, is imprison them. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else I need to do? Oh! No, I can't recruit anything here yet. Oh, I can recruit a monk, which I will in a bit. And I'll probably start stacking them. I'll probably start embedding them into armies so that I don't forget that I have them, which is something that happens a lot with agents, is that I forget I have them. Uh, and so they end up sitting around doing nothing for extended periods of time, for many turns at a time, because I've forgotten that they exist. And I once again forgot to see what uh, clan is. Uh, cr encroaching on the east. Uh, the Satake. 
So the Satake are over here. The I haven't seen a thing that says the Dato are around. But yeah, so the clan adopts Christianity. So Sagara has adopted Christianity. Um, so Matsuki, if I drop you in here, what do you do? Always seeing an armor will increase its general's loyalty and increase its defense against ninjas. Well, this is the only one that has loyalty. A general to be loyal. So we're gonna... Okay. So, attack. Okay, this is uh, not a fight I want to fight. So I kind of want to back the fuck up. And I would rather this, so that they have to attack this army instead of that army. And then, let's see, what else have we got oh, going on over here? We got these two mangonels. And then we're going to have those. And then... So firstly, I'm going to recruit a monk. Oh yeah, so that's that is a tactic that we can use, though I'm not gonna use it this time, is that I can send in a monk to uh incite a rebellion. Uh wherever I so desire a rebellion to happen. So let's see, where what am I gonna upgrade? Ah, I'll upgrade the Saki Den here. Actually no, I'm gonna upgrade the market in Izu. And then I have the gold mining complex all the way up. And these two I'm going to... Because they're just building a new stack. Because they've got, what, Yari Cavalry, Katana Cav, Yari Light Samurai, some Yari Samurai mounted, some more ninjas and shit. Over here we've got all sorts of nonsense going on. Mounted Nagnata Light Samurai, Jesus Christ. So much stuff going on. So yeah, we're going to start taking some winter attrition, and I think I'm going to back them up so that they don't take as much. Especially since the one isn't going to be able to use, isn't going to be able to regain it in any way because they don't have a general. So they don't replenish. Uh, hmm. Seem to have misplaced the water I had in here, but oh well. <laughs> got, what, 12 more minutes before I can stop this episode, so fuck it. The Nodachi requires great skill from its master. Its size makes the bearer vulnerable to melee defense, but on the charge, it is deadly. Fucking what? <laughs> what, are you... Oh, these must have a similar model to the Nodachi? That's kind of weird. I don't want to take any more winter attrition. And while we're sitting here waiting... Wait a minute. I'm missing something. Okay, so now I have 20. So what am I missing? So I have 3, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. Oh! I wanted one more Lone Sword Ashigaru. So these two and these two swap. You sit here for now. Three, four. Uh... Okay, so here you go. See, I need cotton for the next... Uh, level of uh, Yari Dojo, the uh, Yari Master Dojo, which will allow us to recruit Yari Lights or Yari Onabushi, which is the only thing we can't recruit right now, and Onabushi, which uh, we don't actually just we just plain don't have the uh, tech for it yet. So let's see, what's the tech looking like? Okay, so we do that, then that. 
I might actually do this way of the spear first, just to see what the Onabushi are like. Can I actually see the Onabushi and just... Can I see their stats and stuff? Okay, so... It looks like I might want the Onabushi as opposed to the Yari Light... Or the Naginata Light Samurai. Because not only do they have more morale, it looks like they're just better... A little bit better across the board. 16... 15, 12, 15, 12, 19, 12, 11. Yeah, they're just flat out better across the board. My guess is that they're just more expensive to build. 600, 648. Yeah, they're just kind of more expensive to build. I could wait and build another, build up this to Fortress. Samurai retainers. Okay, up this to fortress and then be able to build like an encampment here and see what other what sort of things I can build from having an encampment and an archery dojo. Uh, or for that matter, uh encampment and uh Well not an encampment, maybe just a sword dojo. So that I can get some sword samurai for for here. Because I'm guessing there's like light sword samurai. Is there? Katana Light Samurai. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm still trying to figure out where these Bow Wako bandits, Bow Samurai, Bow Pirates. Well, I know where the Bow Pirates come from. But, like, the Bow Wako, I wonder where that come. Well, Bow Wako and bandits, I wonder where they come from. And the Ronin, I wonder where the Ronin come from. It's. It's interesting. Anyway, war declared between the Oda and the Hattori. Okay, quartermaster's report. Okay. And attrition. I lost 130 men in both. So, okay. So, you see how he's kind of, like, crouched down? Well, that's because he's actually in ambush mode. So, if anyone actually enters his little sphere of influence, like, you notice how these guys had, like, these red ones. And hovering over them, you can see kind of they have this red little circle. Well... I have the same thing for my guys. You just can't really... You can kind of see it when I go over. If anyone comes into that... Into that area... I, I just pointed at the screen. Because, like, you guys can see that. But if anyone comes into that area... They'll get ambushed by my army. And I'm kind of hoping they do. Because I then I can kind of show you what it is. So this will give us a extra wealth generated from farms. And the next level of farm. And then... Actually, I think I might come over here and grab the Way of the Spear before doing the tax reform and then doing the rest of my siege stuff to get me match locks and whatnot. Because uh, I could have sworn in the base game that there were what essentially amounted to like grenade launcher, like rocket launcher type troops. Which was very weird. And like I saw it briefly, I never used them in battle because by the time I saw by the time I had them it was way late in the game. And I was just auto basically auto resolving every battle because just I didn't need to fight. Uh, significant advances improves rate at which all arts are mastered by fifty percent. Cool. So that means way of spear for three. How much? Eight turns. So that's three there, seven there, and then one extra here for five elements. Yeah. Yeah, one at, at an extra 50% or something. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Uh, regardless, I can get those two at a reduced rate. Shave off like two turns. Okay, so your army, Naginata Light Samurai, come in here. Swap them for the regular Samurai, or for the Naginata Ashigaru. Then the Naginata Ashigaru can sit in here for a minute. We're just going to wait a bit. Uh, do I want to do a stronghold? Yeah, fuck it. We'll do a stronghold for Sagami first. Because, um... I guess in two of you guys over here. Hopefully someone doesn't just, like, ambush them as they go. But, um... I'm going to send them over here to get a little bit more defense in Izu. And then... Ooh! right out of this monk so what do you do 
Inspire Army. This increases an army's morale on the battlefield and decreases actions performed against it by rival agents. So we'll stick you in the Foot Army, not the Siege Army. Um... So you have five of those, and actually that'll probably be good enough. So recruitment, I'm going to want to Lone Sword Ashigaru, so that when it's time to move you back over here, and when it's time to move you back over here, I have a Lone Sword Ashigaru that can pop in. Um, yeah, so let's go. Okay, and I believe winter should be ending either next turn or the turn after. We'll find out, at which point I'll start walking my my men back at their stronghold. Because I have two full stacks, though they may have more stacks. So I should probably start working on a new stack. Let's see. Waco Pirates. Ah. Ah. I see. So let's do this. What do you have? Okay, so you can rejoin your regular army. You can get into the army that I'm going to place you in anyway. You, I want to start moving you that way. And I'll fight you. Yeah, I'll fight this fight. Yeah. Yeah, once again, uh, ending an episode on a fight, because uh, once this episode's over, uh, this is probably not going to be another fight. Though, I'll probably, like I mentioned before, keep pushing on episodes in during this sitting and playthrough, playing, or well, session, I guess like you could call it, uh, to finish off that um, province and try and capture that province. Uh, the one downside I see to editing this going forward is that uh, I won't have as many episodes going up that uh, with the same amount of time played I won't have as many episodes, or as long, as many episodes as long as they are. So if I'm aiming for around 20 minutes per episode, then, um, then cutting out a lot of this dead space of me not saying anything is going to be uh, sort of detrimental because uh, wow, I just really spiked that that that. Uh, I need I need to talk more consistently, and that's something I know how to do, and I should be doing. Be okay, here we go. の あれに見える徳川は戦よりも乱地貴様で頭がいっぱいだ。腹の中には忠義などこれっぽっちもない侍どもよ。死神を恐れながら戦い、迷信深い者が我が国にいるようだが、気にするでないぞ。目の前の
9, 14, 19. Yeah, I didn't get my last Naginata for, to replace that useless piece of shit. Um, no, uh, to replace the, uh, what's it? So we're going to be a lot more condensed this time because I'm going to want to be more condensed this time. So hold on, you guys do that, you guys do that, you guys that and that, you guys that, you guys right up here, start battle. Let's see, okay, but what was I saying? Um... Yeah, so they say random things, and some of the lines are, like, almost personalized. Like, the Tokugawa would rather go home and be, like, whoring and gambling because they're not real warriors and stuff. And it's like, yeah. So they say that, whereas, like, when we fought the Ogigatsu, I think it was the Ogigatsu where he mentioned, like, these men, these are, like, loyal and brave men that loyal to their daimyo, and I am... Uh, trouble that we have to end their lives or whatever it was that he said now they lined up in this weird way but uh but yeah so fighting on the field like this uh, it's alright I'm alright at it I guess but kind of the reason I chose the Hojo is because I don't want to be fighting on the field like this I'd rather be fighting in castles and doing sieges but yeah we're gonna move one of these Naginata guys around because we've got two cav guys cav units coming from one direction and then one cav unit coming from the other direction and you know what oh shit i'm gonna have to because they're all ready i was about to say like these guys i'm gonna stop uh putting them on skirmish mode but fuck it so this time we're not going to do that we're just going to take them on skirmish mode and have them move all the way back here and turn off toggle or firewall that way stop them okay Probably just withdraw these guys straight off the field. Because I'm not using them at all, so fuck it. We'll just. Okay, so these buttons over here, I never really explained them. This one is withdraw, it just makes them leave the field as if they were breaking. But they're not breaking, they're just leaving. And for these guys, for these firebomb throwers, I'm just gonna have them leave. Because uh, there's really kind of no point in having them. Halt makes them stop doing whatever they're doing. I think I was using it during one of the sieges a moment ago that uh, just didn't explain what I was doing. This toggles walk versus run. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. This one toggles melee mode. Again, pretty self-explanatory for those that have a melee versus ranged attack. And that one toggles group, which I have been using. And you guys have seen me do. So, oh dear. Surrounded. Okay, cool. Run them down. Let's back up and see if we can't charge into the rear of these guys. and charge the rear. Uh -huh. 
Okay, good. You're all pointing the right way. Which is something that happens sometimes when they're on skirmish mode. Is that they run away, and then they just stick, like, facing the wrong direction. Like, the direction they were running towards. As opposed to turning around so that they can keep fighting. You back off, because you're losing a lot of dudes. And I don't want the general to die. Because the thing is that the general is a specific one of these models. Right? It's the guy, there he is. The guy without the, like, backpack. And I don't know what the backpack's about. But the guy without the backpack. They, if he dies, if that specific model dies, then the general is dead. And his, that unit dies. After battle, that unit will die. But, uh, during, you, during battle, uh, we get all sorts of, like, morale penalties because our general has just died. So, that's unfortunate. But, um, luckily both our generals are still alive. So we will sit back here and, uh, give buffs to the archers. A glorious victory will soon be yours. You bet it will. Charge the general. I charge them then. Charge. Charge. There we go. And uh, it's the mass route. We're all breaking because they're all super sad. Because I'm awesome. My men are better than theirs. So decisive victory. Uh, right. So, oh, I didn't mention... I kind of touched on it earlier, back when we were explaining the clans, but, um... Religion is a thing in this game. Jesus Christ, I'm peeking this way too much. But, um... Okay, so religion is a thing in this game. Oh, I did lose one of my samurai. I need better... I need a better, like, unit. Other than Yari Samurai. But, um... Alright, you know what? I'll, I'll pick up my explanation of, uh... Religion in the next episode. So, uh... See you guys in a moment. Later.